Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed my last video which featured the Acora SRC2 that came in recently at 3MA and they're evaluating whether to carry that brand and Isaac with Acora was there. And of course you've seen me feature Acora in many uh, show report videos in the past. So it's really cool to see some of my friends that are audiophiles here in Houston get to hear it firsthand as well as the guys at 3MA and see that it resonates just as well as it has been at the shows in a totally different room and environment. So um, there's probably a good chance that 3MA carries it, although they've got so many speaker brands, as well as they take in a lot of trade. So a lot of this content I'm doing really just came with uh, off the cuff. I didn't plan any of this to happen. I was just over at 3MA and Isaac was there in the chorus. But at the same time, uh, Spatial Audio X3s came in, I think the very next day, and also Magico S7s came in on trade. So gear is constantly coming in at 3MA either as dealer models or trade-ins and consignment and those kind of things. And so this just Spurred up, I said, well, this is a great chance to do a comparison of three speakers that a lot resonate with a lot of people. Acora, I know, and I like it myself. Uh, Spatial Audio, Open Baffle, a chance to compare that. And at that price point, give me, give me a lot uh, more exposure to it firsthand with my tracks and setting it up and get a feel for it and give you guys my impressions uh, based on heretofore it's mostly been it shows my exposure with spatial audio and then the magico s7s which i'm very familiar with magico um over the years it shows countless rooms heard them many many times uh but here was a chance to hear that particular model and judge it as well uh compared to these other ones because what's cool is that the accord has a ported base uh the open baffle nature of the spatial totally but it has an open baffle base and then the um uh, Magico S7 is seal based. And so there's tons of differences among those three speakers, but that alone I thought was a good reference point to make some comparisons. And again, the, the initial thing everybody likes to do is say, which one is best, 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 and make it a versus uh, comparison and declare a winner. And really that's a primitive way of looking at things. And so one of the macro takeaways like I like to do on this channel is share with you that all three of these speakers are going to be end game speakers for many people, many tastes, many rooms, many setups. And the important thing to highlight and that and now I can see firsthand spending a lot more time with each of these speakers is that these will each appeal to certain tastes like they did firsthand my impressions just talking to my friends some of them like one versus the other um all of them think they're excellent speakers so again we're talking about a bar that's very high to start with but there are going to be differences in just flavor of sound there are going to be differences in which ones will make to certain rooms better uh and then which ones in terms of setup how you set them up in the room will play a part and then obviously there's aesthetics and then there's cost and value so all these variables together are not going to be the same for everybody. So if you're expecting me to declare a winner uh, out of the three, I'm probably not going to do that. I will share my impressions of what I like about each speaker. And if I owned them, what I would do, like I talked about with the GR Research Extremes, how would I accentuate, like I did with the in, in, in Extremes, uh, my taste and set up in my room? What rooms do I think each of these speakers would work best in and what kind of setups and what taste do I think they appeal to based on what I've seen with my friends as well as my own ears? So today I want to feature the Magico S7 in a little closer look because today this was the first time I got to see up close this M-coat finish. Usually they have that gunmetal style, stock style of the Magico finish, which is not doesn't wow me, doesn't offend me. It just is okay. Uh, but now taking a look at this M coat finish in this custom color, I was very impressed with the quality of the finish and the color. It really popped. And even some people that have come in there that know Magico speakers didn't know at first that that was Magico because of that unique color profile. So that was really cool to see up close and then get a, a better impression with it. And I'm gonna have music clips of all these speakers, but I'll put that like I normally do in a separate video. And you can make judgments for yourself for whatever you can tell over a YouTube video. And then I will give my commentaries as, in, in addition to that. But 
I've already spent a lot of time on my channel with Magico with the tour visit that I featured about a month ago or a few weeks ago. So I don't have anything to share like I did with Isaac on the Acora, but go watch that video. You can get an appreciation for their design philosophies and what they specialize in and, and uh, the great facility they have in their listening room, which again, keep in mind that listening room because that's going to play into my commentary uh, and to the sound signatures as well later. But in any case, uh, let me give you a little better uh, look at these, then I'll do the spatial audio in a separate video, and then I'll have music clips and my own commentaries of which ones I think will fit your taste in the in an upcoming video. Enjoy, guys. Okay, guys, look at what came in on trade at 3MA. These are Magico S7s, but you may at first not recognize them because this is very rare to see. At least I haven't seen it up close. This M coat finish, really beautiful. This is an add-on option um, I think it's much better than their normal kind of gunmetal stock the quality of the finish it's a little dusty right now but it's impeccable and really makes it look a lot better to my taste at least I do like the um, M series cabinet structure a little better than the S series but um, as you've seen in the tour that the guys I put on my channel the tour of their facility there's a lot behind that cabinet that you can't see the bracing and all the technology now again the m series my friend ordered the m6 so i'll have a more detailed um discussion about that one in upcoming video when he that arrives there are some differences that i think i know offhand i may be wrong i have to double check but um I think the M series has a different cabinet. I think the it's a little more streamlined, to my taste, a little better. Uh, Performance-wise, I've really had been impressed with the M series. This is my first chance hearing the S series. These use, I think, aluminum cones here, whereas the M series, I think, they have the graphene. So if you want to get all the technology and stuff that M, that Magico is doing. Uh, the M series is probably your best bet. I think they have an A series for entry level and then this S series is kind of a good compromise between the two to give you a good flavor for what's capable. Um, you know and for the other thing to keep in mind different rooms they have different models and stuff for different budgets but also for different rooms so if you do I know many of you are local and come into 3MA after seeing my videos one thing you're gonna notice let me back up here this is probably too small a room for them. And so we're not getting the ultimate performance um, that you can get from these. I think even Magico would agree that this is not the best room. They're probably gonna eventually put these upstairs or for serious demos, swap them out with the, NX, the um, MBL Extremes up in the main room. But uh, this will at least give you a taste of what the uh, Magico sound is like and these S series. And obviously one thing you're going to always want to keep in mind and in this comparison that I'm doing of the Acoras and Spatials is a lot of it is going to be taste, a lot of it's going to be budget, but also a lot of it is what model fits your room. That is the key to how these perform. Obviously these are going to perform in this room a lot different than Magico's dedicated listening room. So always keep these things in mind and uh, don't make snap judgments because um, there's so many variables in play here. Now, I know some people are going to ask which what speaker did they trade in these to get, and I think it was the Estelon X Diamond, which I've also featured on my channel in the past and even have an interview with um, um, Alyssa with Estelon. So that's another one in the same um, realm of point source box speakers that um, may suit some people's tastes and room sizes differently. Um, again, there's no best for everybody in every room, but uh, so far these have really impressed me from the standpoint of their bass performance. Very punchy, tight, sealed cabinet, uh, which sealed bass to me really provides a, a benefit. I do like open baffle for mid bass and up, like I've done with my extremes, but if I had to pick um, 
my next favorite option it would be sealed base for everything and uh, this one really performs well there is always a question about why um, I've at least heard it and seen it a lot why they do a wide baffle especially by the tweeter as you've seen over the years companies have kind of narrowed the cabinet by the tweeter to kind of uh, negate reflections but don't make that mistake of thinking that this is not state-of-the-art um, like maybe some of the Polks and JBLs of the 1970s and 80s which had wide baffles and drivers stuck on it flat. Uh, they'd use a lot of technology and measurement tools and so everything they do here you can pretty much assume it's um, done intentionally. I didn't get a chance to go on the actual tour to talk to them a little bit more in depth about that but I will um, hopefully get to meet with those guys. I think they're coming down to 3MA for the Spooktacular Audio Fest. So that's a little heads up that's coming up, second annual. We'll get to hear a lot more about them and their technology there and reasonings for doing things. Uh, but you can assume with Magico, everything they're doing, they're doing it for a reason. State-of-the-art measurement tools, at least listening room. You know, you're getting a very high-end speaker. May not be for everybody's taste. You know, everybody's taste have, from aesthetics to budget to sound, going to be dependent on a lot of things, but yeah, this is definitely what I would call a reference level speaker that'll be um, end game for a lot of people. Um, it does come with a very attractive grill. The only thing I would say is that we don't have it here, but it is metal, and if I run my fingers on it, it will kind of ring. So I think this is the best way for playing it for serious listening. But I got to say, the grill looks amazing on these. It really does. It allows you to see through to the drivers. Um, so as long as you don't have any issues with it ringing or resonating, I think it makes this even a more killer looking speaker. So if you're in the area um, with 3MA, this is a great option to check out and compare it to both the um, Accoras I just recently featured, as well as I'll do a feature next on these spatial audios that are for a different budget, open baffle, but I'll save that for the next video, guys.